Hello and welcome back to Women Disciples of Christ Ministries. I'm Sonia Beyer and I am going to be teaching today about trusting God and doing good. I am going to be teaching you from Joyce Meyer's little book here, Keys to Trusting God by Joyce Meyer. And this is a really great pamphlet to have and I'm just going to teach you out of it. Okay, we're going to start off talking about Psalms 37.3. It says, Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall you dwell in the land and feed surely on his faithfulness, and truly you shall be fed. Now, Joy says that she believes this is like the greatest instruction in the Bible for having a great life. So, you know, all of us go through difficult times painful times and sometimes we just don't know if we can get through the disappointment we don't know if we can make it through and john 16 it says in this world you will have trouble and he never says you won't go through trials and tribulations he always says you will go through it especially if you're a christian because then satan's going to attack you even more because he doesn't want you to do god's work but he says that if you will do good and trust in him, he will help you through it. He will be your rock and you won't face it alone. So that's why we have to trust in God and do good. Because Satan is going to be throwing darts at us every day. He's going to do things every single day to get to us, to try to break our spirit, to try to get us to sway from the Christian life. And he won't never stop. He will continue to do it day after day. And so we have to put on our armor. And we do that by reading the Bible. Praying. And you know praise and worship is also important. Every day we should. Even if you're just going on. I like to go on YouTube. And look up Hillsong Worship. And they have such beautiful praise and worship music there. And even before I teach these messages, I like to go on and sing a few praise and worship songs, get the anointing of God on me and pray, you know, for God's direction and what I say and do. And I do this every morning, actually, for the day, too. So you need to make sure that you're praying and you're having your praise and worship because that all comes back as power in your life. All the prayer, all the praise and worship that is coming back to you as power in God that will serve you, that will help you to get through all of the situations that you go through, no matter how big or small. And I like the way Joyce talks about this in this book. She says that God's prescription for every problem we face is trust God and do good. And she says that God's word is the medicine that brings healing and restoration to our souls. Our doctor is Jesus, and we are his patients, and we can take his medicine. First prescription, trust God. Second prescription, do good. And we can take it as much as we need to, and it's free. So you can refill it. You can use it all day long if you need to. It will help you be better. And, but there are side effects. Now, we got to talk about the side effects of every medicine that you take. Okay, so when you take the first medicine to trust God, it says that the side effects are going to be peace, joy, stability, confidence, overall better health. Now, those are some great side effects to have. And when you take the do good medicine, you'll have extreme happiness and rewards in heaven now you're like what are rewards in heaven okay so not only does god want us to have life abundant life here on earth and enjoy our life when we go to heaven we will also be rewarded for what we've done while we were here on earth so and i've always heard it i was growing up as a child and all through my life i've always heard it put in this way that when you go to heaven, you will get a crown on your head. And for every person that you've brought to Christ, you would get a diamond on your crown. So, you know, I don't know if that's really exactly how it will be or not. But it's pretty exciting to think 
of what God has planned for us. It says that we can't even imagine. And, and it says in the Bible we can't even imagine or comprehend what God has planned for us. That is so wonderful and so great. Okay, trusting God brings freedom. Many times things happen that we simply do not understand, but that's okay. We don't have to figure everything out. We can trust God that he knows and he will take care of everything. We trust him. He takes care of us. Just like a father takes care of his daughter. You have, do not need to worry. Maybe someone has really hurt you and what's happening doesn't seem fair. Now, this could be happening to you on a daily basis, and if it is, it can be seriously hard to deal with, I'm sure. And if somebody is doing this to you, first of all, you should get help. You should seek help from someone close that can help you. Talk to somebody about it. But also, maybe if it's not as serious, maybe if it's just somebody that's just doing things and just annoying you and it's really making a struggle for you, or something's happened and, you know, you didn't get the promotion at work you thought you deserved. Maybe you really did deserve it, but maybe that wasn't what God had planned for you yet. Maybe he has something better in, in store for you. So we have to always trust that God has a plan and that we have to trust him. The Bible says that God will be your vindicator in Psalms 135, 14. So if somebody is doing something to you, don't think that you just have to turn the other cheek and nothing's going to happen. God will vindicate you and he will, he will be the judge of them. Okay, so as you place your trust in him, you open the door for him to work in your situation. And he then will deal with the people that who have been mistreating you, who have been hurting you. So you can only, the only way God can help you is if you step back and allow him to take control. Because if you try to do it, then he has to step back. Like, he'll step back and let you try to handle it. So, put your faith in God. Trust God, no matter what your situation is. You have to trust God. And your faith and trust in God also allow Him to take the wrong things that have happened to you and ultimately work them out to be for your benefit. So, by trusting in Him, this gives God power, extra power, to do things. Because God always gives us free will. He'll never push himself on us. But in order for him to do certain things, we have to do certain things as well. So, but mainly we have to trust in him and we have to do good to other people. The Bible teaches us that it's not the things that happen to us that determine the quality of our lives. It's how we choose to respond to them that really makes all the difference. And trusting God is the key to making right choices that bring us the life that he has planned for us. We can choose to trust God. The truth is, God is the only one who can completely trust to take care of us. He's the only one that you can put 100% trust in. Maybe you're thinking, well, I trusted God. And he didn't take care of me. Well, I understand how you feel. Because I've gone through hard things. Joyce has gone through hard things, as she talks about in her book. And we, neither one of us, none, nobody ever gets exactly what you want most of the time. And a lot of times it's definitely not when you think you should get it. Even if you do get it, it's usually not when you think you should have it. Okay, so I think what we fail to understand a lot of the times is getting our way, getting what we want, when we want it, isn't always the best thing. And being selfish and self-centered is actually a very miserable way to live. So God is faithful. He promises to take care of us. If we place our trust in him, but we have to trust his will and his timing. It's, it's good for us to tell God what we want, and we need to realize he is smarter than us. He knows what is already going to happen in the future. So we have to trust in him that he knows what is the best thing for us. That's why it's so important that we study, meditate on God's word, and it renews our mind. So we can think the way that God thinks. And so then we will also have a better understanding of maybe what God has in store for us. And it turns our will into God's direction. Turns our will in God's direction. So we want what he wants for us. That's important. So remember, trust requires unanswered questions. It requires us to fully lean on God and trust in him. Believing and trusting that he has our best interest in mind always, all the time. 
the Lord has asked many times, she says, the Lord has asked her the same question as she's asking me and I'm asking you, do you trust me? God says, do you trust me? So if you trust God today, let him know you trust him. Talk to God. Tell him that you trust him and that you're going to put everything in his hands and that you're going to lean on him for support. And he will be there and he will help you. So that's it for today. But I think this is a great book and I am going to continue on our, in my next video. I will be continuing on in this book. The next chapter, Putting Your Faith Into Action. So that's exciting. We're going to be finding out how to do that. So... Stay tuned, guys. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you won't miss my videos. And praise God, we can learn about God together and grow in Christ as women disciples of Christ. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. We appreciate your support and for being a subscriber. And you have a wonderful, blessed day. Thanks again. Bye.